guys, good morning. So there, Mr. G tackles a champion boss at 5 a.m. over some coffee. So, here we go. Alright, um, I didn't plan who I brought for this wine king, wine god, uh, really well at all. So, let me show you what we're doing here. I should have brought an arbalist to get rid of the marks from Wilbur. Uh, but I don't have any anymore because you saw my arbalist die. <laughs> die uh, against the Brian uh, 19 pounder. Um, so here's what we're doing. We're just going for, for raw damage here. So damage bonus, extra hit points on the abomination. Uh, Jester, just going to do some bleed with him. Leave him right in the middle. No finale in solo business, just simple. Simple bleeds. Uh, Highwayman, bonus damage, and the old Ancestors map. Um, just just raw damage from him too. And Occultist, hopefully to just keep debuffing the Swine God. Um, uh, I don't know if pulling Wilbur in front would do any good. So let's, let's see in the back. I can't do that in the back anyway. Um, stuns. And we will stun Wilbur. We will hope that works. Because one thing I have learned is is you can stun Wilbur without uh, pissing off the big guy. So uh, I got really lucky. We only had, like, what? Let's see. One, two, three rooms to go to get the boss. I think I only had one fight. So everybody's in pretty good shape. Maybe I had two. All right, here goes. Done somebody. That little stink. Now I'm gonna guess the situation right now where this guy should be in front the whole time. I'm just doing rake constantly. Ought to pay off in the end. So we're gonna try that. Because you've got to do at least like three of those before the buff from rake is worth it. God, I wish I had the Arbalist to get rid of those marks from Wilbur. But I don't, so is what it is. We'll see how we do. Nice, we can make this guy bleed so We can, that's good. He's gonna do some ridiculous damage when he does. Yeah. Oh, we got lucky there. We got very, very lucky. Irritating little, little pain. Oh, it Oh, I did not mean to do that, but at least... God, you guys have seen me do that before. I'm gonna calm down and click in the mouse here. Okay. Throw some more bleed on this guy. Sorry, I have some coffee here. You know, I've got little ones running around the house, so... You other dads out there that game know that some of the only times you can get this done quietly because when it's early all right and uh living in thailand it's one of the few times that it's not super hot so, oh the occultist hammered if he dies this is done to a killing he needs to do a huge crit he oh and he's stunned oh my gosh guys okay How much buffing do we have from the rake? Plus 50%. We'll keep it going. Uh oh. How much bleed damage are we doing? 12 for two rounds. So let's keep stacking it. Nicely done, high women. But uh, this is a good situation with the occultist here at all. Not at all. Although, uh, one thing I will say after my Brigand 19 pounder experience, where I had an entire party wipe, um, I'm learning it's okay to lose heroes. You, you will get beyond it, and he's Death's Door now. No, not quite. He really needs a turn, though. We're gonna keep with the rake, where we at now, plus 50% damage on that. So that gives us 10% more than the rage. Alright. 
to keep it going. Plus 75, so we are building it up. So I'm thinking this is a definitely a situation where doing that pays off. What are we at now? 16 points of damage for four rounds. So we are building up the bleed too, which is good. Okay, buddy, you need to heal yourself. Good luck. Don't give me a zero. 24, that's what we needed there. Fred the third, good work. Keep the bleed stacking on this thing. Then we will deal with Wilbur. Look at that, 24. Ow. <laughs> there it is. Okay, we may be transforming the Abomination back and doing some stuns. But let's see if we can make it one more on the rake, because right now it's 50% damage bonus. Uh-oh. And these two. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Okay. At least we're not missing this thing. It's huge. It would be ridiculous to miss it. Oh, someone's... We're losing. Oh, we're going to die, though. Oh, we got lucky. RNG is being kind. Uh-oh. This thing should be dying soon. Please die soon. 16 points of damage in there. Kill it. Die. Okay. Um, if I transform him back, he can just self-heal. But I'd like this guy dead now. But I have something to kill. Wilbur. So maybe we can... Bring Wilbur to the front. Will it take yeah, to man, gnaw through a ton of putrid flesh. Stop stunning slash killing my Chester. 35 hit points. Well, let's just go with as much damage as we can miss. Can we hit this guy with tracking shot or something. All right, Fred the Third, doing way better than your dad and your grandpa at uh, healing. Okay. Standard rage here. There we are. There we are. Annoying little squealer. Just stunning the pants off everybody. Okay. We can do zip against this guy now that he's in the front. Oh my god. Can't do. Oh, I didn't think about that. Hmm, if we pass, that doesn't do anybody any good. Well, I, could, I don't want to mess up the highwayman. He can only... Oh, he can do that from the front. Nothing. Okay, just to keep him from taking a stress hit. Move those two around. Uh, let's heal our good friend the Abomination. 15, we'll take it. I should have not brought the Eldritch trinket for the occultist. I don't know why... I thought pigs counted as Eldritch. That, I was thinking the Weald, not the Warrens. So, another healing trinket would have been nice on the Occultist, or a debuff trinket, but what are you gonna do? Live and learn. Get some bleed on you, you little stand. Oh, we just finished it off. Well, there it is! So we got, ooh, stun resist from Wilbur's flag, and ooh, abomination only, minus 25 stress inflicted when transformed. That will be very very handy for the abomination so make him a lot more usable on runs so cool okay how are we doing on our checklist here folks let's take a peek we have gibbering prophet brigand 16 pounder i think you you saw that one formless flesh the guiling siren drowned crew and then we are we are on to the darkest dungeon as always guys really appreciate your tips uh thanks for Telling me what I did wrong, please do. I know, I know, I did do plenty, and uh, I could have brought a lot better party for that one, but we got lucky, and it worked. So I'm off to go do some more. Mr. G out. We'll catch you guys later.